textured bear in a sweater. So what is texture? How can we show texture in art? Let's learn about the element of art, texture. Texture. In three-dimensional art, texture is the way something feels. In two-dimensional art, line, shape, and value help imply the way the objects feel. Implied texture is the illusion of having physical texture. Real texture is actual variation upon a surface. It is different from visual texture by having a physical quality that can be felt by touch. Here are some examples of texture in art. Hairy, smooth, soft, bumpy, and rough. Not only can texture be used to imply feeling in art, texture can also be used for the surface of your artwork. In painting, this is called impasto, meaning building up paint to create a textured surface. So now that we've learned about the element of art texture and how we can draw it in our art to make it look like something feels a certain way, let's go over the directions for our textured bear in a sweater. For your supplies, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and coloring materials of your choice. For my example, I used crayons on the bear's face, markers on the bear's sweater, and watercolors for the background. First, you'll follow along with the video to draw a portrait of a bear in a sweater. Then we'll draw texture on the bear's fur using lines. After, we'll draw texture on the bear's sweater using patterns, and then we'll outline everything with a black marker. Next, color in the bear and the sweater using your choice of materials. Don't forget a colorful background. All right, let's go ahead and get started. To get started, you will need a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker for outlining and drawing texture on your bear, and then some coloring materials. I will be using some crayons, some markers, and some watercolors for my background. So you should draw with a pencil, but for the video, I will be drawing with my black marker so that you can really see it on camera and know exactly what to draw. We're going to be using our paper portrait style because we're going to be making a portrait of a bear. A portrait usually means a picture of someone from about the shoulders up. So it's a picture of mostly their face and shoulders. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by putting dots on the side of my paper to show where the side of my bear's face will be. If you put about two or three fingers on the side of your paper and then put a little dot, this only needs to be big enough for you to see and then do the same thing on the other side, about two or three fingers. That will help me when I make my line for the top of the head and the bottom of the head. So we're gonna start with drawing a big rainbow line. So this is a line that arches upward. So there are my two dots. I'm going to start on one side and arch all the way up and then come down to the dot. Then I'm going to do the opposite curve. So this is like a big smile and I'm doing a little bit of ghost drawing to practice it before I actually draw it. Ah! 
awesome. Now I have the shape of my bear's face. Now let's draw the ears. We're going to use two half circles on the sides of the top of the head. So like two big rainbow lines. Next, we're going to draw the face details. Let's start with this big U shape that is the muzzle or the area where the mouth and the nose is on our bear. So it's like the letter U. It goes down, it curves, and it goes back up. And this is right in the middle. It doesn't come all the way to the bottom of the face though. Then let's draw the nose. So I'm going to draw a rectangle shape and I'm doing this with my pencil first because with my pen, I'm going to make it more rounded. So I'm making it into a rounded rectangle just to make it look a little bit more realistic. On the nose, I'm going to make a little oval shape on the side. This is a reflection, so I'm going to leave that white when I add color. Then let's draw a vertical line that comes down and stops about a finger or two above the U shape. Then we're going to draw a little smile line and one right below it to show the mouth. I'm going to add some little lines on the side to add emphasis and a little curved line inside for the tongue. So my bear has an open mouth. Now we need to add the eyes. On the sides of the big U shape, draw a circle. And then inside the eye, I'm going to add a little oval on the upper right corner. And this will be the reflection. Now let's draw the bear's body. So on the side of the face, I'm going to draw two curved lines that, that come down almost to the corner of the paper. So here's one. And two. Make sure you go all the way to the bottom of your paper. Then I'm going to start. Then I'm going to draw the arms of the bear. So put about three or four fingers in from the side of that line. I'm going to use three fingers and then draw a line that is a little shorter, about halfway up from this space. So about three fingers and make a little mark draw a line that comes down to the bottom of the paper. Now I can see where the bear's arms will be and where the belly will be. Now let's add texture to our bear. We're going to add a fur texture by drawing lines on the bear's face and ears. And then we're going to show texture by adding patterns on the sweater that our bear is wearing. So to add texture on the fur, so to add texture on the bear's face, we know that bears are furry. So we want to show the texture of fur. To do that, I'm going to draw some lines that come out from the edge of the bear's face. So notice how these little dashed lines come out. So it's giving the idea of a furry texture. Then when you get into the shape, you can just draw the fur lines inside. They don't have to come from here and go all the way out. They're short little dashed lines, but make sure you do go above the shape a little bit to give the look of furry texture. So I'm going to try to fill in the bear's ears and their face with those little lines showing fur texture. I'm not going to do it on the eyeball, on the nose, or in the mouth, but I am going to do it on the face and on the muzzle around the nose and mouth.
finished adding fur texture to my bear's face, I'm going to decorate the bear's sweater with patterns that also show texture. To start, let's create some sections in the sweater. So I'm going to start by drawing a curved line that follows the shape of our bear's face. So notice we have this curve here. I'm going to make a curve below that will look kind of like a collar on the sweater. So I'm going to come from one side and curve down and go across. Then I'm going to make this look more like a ring around the top of the sweater. I'm going to start in the middle with a straight line and then on the sides, I'm going to draw slightly curved lines that look like the curve of the fabric of a sweater. Then on this side, the lines are going to curve the other direction. And it's just a slight curve. If you have another idea for your collar, then go for it. Now I'm going to draw more sections in my sweater using those same kind of curved lines. You could have more or less sections than me. This is just what works for my sweater. So there's one, two, this last one for me is going to go through the arms and that's totally fine. Now I have sections where I will add different patterns that go across. You can use any kind of line or shape that you can think of to create patterns on your sweater. Think about a pattern sweater that you have. What's on your sweater? Is it snowflakes? Is it hearts? Is it lines. It's totally up to you because you are the artist. I'm going to start with a zigzag design in this section and I'm going to try to fill in the entire thing going across with the same pattern. So each section is a new design. On texture on your bear sweater using patterns, then you can go ahead and outline your drawing with a black marker. If you plan on painting today, make sure you use a permanent marker like a Sharpie so that your outline doesn't bleed all over your paper. Once you've outlined, then you can go ahead and erase any of the extra pencil lines that are showing through to make your artwork look much neater. Now we are ready to add color. For mine, I will be using crayons for my bear's face and markers for my bear's sweater. Then I will be using some watercolors to paint the background, but you can use any supplies that you like for this. So when I'm coloring in my bear's face with crayons, I'm going to try to use value with my color. So when you're using crayons or colored pencils, you can press hard on them to get a dark value, or you can let go and get a lighter value by pressing lightly. I'm also going to try to blend in some other shades of brown to really bring out the different colors in my bear's fur. So if you have some tans, even some black would be good, just to give it a little bit more variety. So to start, I'm going to color in the bear's face all with a medium brown. I'm pressing down with a medium weight on my crayon just to get kind of a regular brown. And I'm gonna fill in the entire face shape. Now that I've colored in the face a light to medium brown color. I'm going to blend in some darker browns at the edge. So I'm adding some value here at the edge of my bear's face, and this is gonna make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and realistic. 
So I'm just blending in this darker brown, pressing hard at the edge and letting go of the pressure so it blends into the lighter brown. I'm gonna do this all the way around my bare space. done coloring in my bear's fur. I added some value shading around the muzzle and around the edges of the ears. Now I'm going to color in the eyes. I'm going to use my black Sharpie for that and the nose and the inside of the mouth. For the tongue, I'm going to use a light pink and blend a little bit of a red onto it. So when you're coloring in your bear's eyes, you can color them in all black except for that little oval that we drew that would be the reflection of light on the bear's eyes. That part should stay white. The same thing will happen on the nose as well. Now I'm ready to color in my bear's sweater. I'm going to be using some markers for this step, but you can use any supply that you like. Just try to make each pattern stand out by coloring in the individual shapes that you've made within your pattern. to do my background, I finished coloring in all the patterns on my bear's sweater. For my background, I'm going to be painting with watercolors, so I'm putting my messy mat underneath my paper to protect my table, and I have my watercolors and a water cup and a brush. Remember, if you're painting, you need to take care of your watercolors by just tapping and swirling your brush on the paint. You never want to press hard into the paint because you will ruin your brush's pointy bristles. You always want to keep your brush in a nice point so that it will create beautiful paintings for you. When you go to switch colors, make sure you rinse off your brush and then you pick your new color. That way your paint stay nice and clean. I am all done with my textured bear in a sweater. I hope you had fun today learning how to draw a bear in a sweater and using visual texture to show the texture of fur on your bear and creating interesting patterns in your sweater. I can't wait to see what you create. Have fun artist! Music